hello welcome to the turning point in this session let us see the introduction towards the software force effect which will be useful in doing your uh, mechanics uh, project so for that go to google and uh, search their uh, force effect type their force effect then you will get a list of uh, uh, sites there click on the first link it is the official link so when you click on that so it will uh, uh, direct you to the official site so this is the site so once it is initialized you will get the templates so accept the blank one so other sample things so if you want to save your work first you need to sign in there for that you need to register and you can discuss in a community and you can save your uh, preferences so click on new so when you click on new so there you will be able to identify two categories statics and kinematics so select on uh, engineering paper under statics so then the background will be converted to green color checks so go to settings to change the units click on settings so defaultly it will be in imperial units change that to metric units so keep the length in terms of meters and uh, force in terms of newtons and you can change the precision also so these are the six tools we have in statics so the first one is a selection mode second one is create elements or bars third one is create construction elements or construction uh, lines and this one is a application of a force this is supports and if any unnecessary thing is there there you can delete uh, by using last tool so first i will create a element click on left click on that so ab so here there you can find the length also so if you want to change it click on that and enter the value there so then it will be changed according to your dimension if you want to delete it click on delete tool select it so it will be deleted now i am going to draw it once again so ab of 2 meters and in connection with that i would like to draw another uh, bar bc which is also 2 meters from b i would like to draw a vertical bar which is of 2 uh, meters i would like to join ad and uh, cd so now i would like to give supports for this truss click on a uh, support tool so then it will show you uh, two types of supports first one is hinged support click on hinged support and uh, click on point a so it will be so that joint will be supported with the uh, hinged support click on roller support and uh, click on uh, c that will be supported with the uh, roller support if you observe the shape of the truss has been changed now now you can apply the load so click on uh, force so that will be useful for creating a uh, force this one is useful for creating unknown force uniformly distributed load moments also now i am going to take a uh, known force there at point b i am going to apply there so defaultly it will be acting vertically upwards give their negative value minus uh, 500 newtons then it will uh, represent force vertically downwards for the applied force reactions are uh, produced at a and c so if you want to have complete report click on report so an uh, a report will be generated so that report will consist of the complete data so what is the truss you have considered what are the elements what is the length of each and every element so when you consider weight there won't be weight why because the members weight is negligible in truss and what are maybe the forces you have considered what are maybe the reaction values you get so all those data will be there including uh, moment equation and uh, uh, resultant equation along x y x y directions all those things will be there for each and every joint including uh, uh, bending moment diagrams shear force and bending moment diagrams all those things will be there uh, in this uh, report you can save this report uh, while doing a uh, documentation part for your project you can uh, use this one there so this is the trust if you want to uh, save this work first you should sign so it will ask you to sign in so first you should sign don't forget to sign in 
if you want to save your work hope you like it thank you for watching